What is up everybody? Welcome back. Today we are looking at how to work out the nth term of a linear sequence. Let's jump into it. So my first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the jump value, the value of the difference between the numbers in our sequence. Then we're going to multiply it by the term and we're going to understand what that means. And then we're going to find the correction. So that probably doesn't mean too much to you at the moment. That's all right. That's what we're going to look at here today. Okay, let's have a look at what I mean with question one. And let's look at step one, finding the jump value. Okay, so as we said before, the gap between two and five is three, five and eight is three, eight and 11 is three, et cetera, et cetera. So my jump value for this sequence is three. And then it says to multiply with the term. So this will be my first term, my second, third, fourth, fifth, and then the one we're trying to find is six. And we call these numbers up here the terms. Now, if we think about it, if we're going up in threes, then it's a bit like the three times table. So if I multiply my three by my term, these numbers here in the blue line, then I'm gonna get somewhere close to the sequence value. So to show that I can write three and I'm gonna have N for my algebraic letter. Okay, but like I say, that's gonna be close to our number, but not bang on. So then we need to find the correction. Let's see what I mean there. So we know that the next number after 14 will be 17. But so far, all I've got in my formula is 3n. So 3 times the number value, which is 6. If I do 3 times 6, I get 18. 18 is very close to 17, but not quite right. So I need to correct my formula. How can I get from 18 down to 17? Well, I can minus one. So therefore my formula for this sequence is three N minus one. Let's look at a harder one. So the first thing I need to do again is find the jump value. So I can see this time the gap is 10. Next, what I can do is finish off my table by putting the numbers of the terms on the top. And then to start my formula, I will write 10 N remembering that this n just means the number of the term that we're looking for. So then we can do step three, which is to find the correction. And to find the correction, we're gonna use an example, one that we've got, let's use this three. So 10 times three equals 30. Well, 30 is close to the 22 that I'm looking for, but not right. So how can I correct from 30 down to 22? I would need to minus Eight. So therefore, my formula should be 10n minus 8. Okay, let's have a look at a really challenging one. So first thing we're going to do is find our jump value again. So what's the difference between 11 and 5? Well, it's 5, but it's not just 5, it's negative 5, because we're now descending our numbers. What's the difference between 6 and 1? Also negative 5. 1 and minus 4, negative 5. Minus 4, minus 9, also negative 5. So the start of my formula this time is going to be negative 5n. Okay, then we're going to multiply with the term and find the correction. So let's look at an example with one we've got. But first, let's put our term values on the top, our numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we could just pick any example. Let's pick number 4, the fourth term, negative 5 times 4. Well, negative 5 times 4 becomes negative 5. 20. Okay, so we're close to our negative 4 target, but not quite. So how can we get from negative 20 to negative 4? Well, we would need to plus 16. So my formula would be negative 5n plus 16. Okay, here are three for you to work out. Have a go at solving these yourself. Press pause on the video, take your time, and put your answers into the comments section. I would like you to write the formulas for each of these. And there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'm gonna see you in another video. But for now, peace out.